Hey, what's going on, guys? It's David here from GenZio. I'm here with L1. L1, how are you doing? I'm going good, Dave. Yeah, good. Thanks for being here. Thank you, thank you. We're here at Permissionless in Salt Lake City, Utah. And the event, how's it been? It's pretty good, honestly. I, I love the event. The city is pretty nice as well. And uh, yeah, happy to be here with, uh, with Corium. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about Corium. Yeah, for sure. So Corium is a layer one blockchain built on top of the Cosmos SDK, and we focus on everything that has to do with uh, real-world asset tokenization. Wonderful, wonderful. So, you know, when did you kind of get involved with this? Personally? Yeah. Or, yeah, I mean, myself, I joined Corium uh, last year as a devil engineer. I have a software engineer background, and now I'm leading the network expansion team. So it's been a fun journey and still uh, working on it. Oh, that's fantastic, man. Yeah. A software engineer, you said? Yeah, correct. Yeah. Ah, where did you study? I studied in Montreal, Canada, uh, ETS, it's called, Ecole de Technologie Supérieure. Okay. I studied there for four years, started with um, doing cybersecurity, and then I got involved in, uh, in crypto, pretty much, blockchain, yeah. That's fantastic, yeah. man. Anything big you guys want to announce? Uh, let me see. Let me think because there are some things that are <laughs> yeah. that we are actually working on, but still under uh, under cover. Let's say. Let me think. Uh, I guess I, I can say it. So we we're gonna build. Um, we have some ties with the XRP Ledger or sister company Sologenic, which yeah. is the biggest dex on the XRPL. Is looking to build what we call uh, an ATG asset asset tokenization gateway on Corium, leveraging yeah. the Corium infrastructure, the contract, so they're gonna tokenize bond on the Corium network, pretty much. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about programmable money. Yeah, I mean, when we talk about programmable money is usually through smart contract, right? Yeah. What we did at Corium is shift the paradigm a little bit. We have what we call smart tokens. Instead of having this uh, logic at the smart contract level, we put it at the protocol level. Um, that has many benefits. One of them is security, um, speed, and cost. So when you do it, we do that at the protocol level, it's all cheaper, faster, more secure, right? You don't need to edit all of the smart contract. Um, I guess when it comes to programmable money, a good use case, a good example is uh, a standard we've been working on, which is ISO 222, right? The financial message passing protocol. So this protocol is pretty famous in Europe with SEPA, single payment area, uh, yeah, single European payment area. And what we did is put a blockchain flavor to it, right? So you're able to uh, pass this ISO message on the core network, but the interesting part i think is the the um the um rtgs okay. the real-time gross settlement so the programmable money actually when a message is passed how do you actually uh take action on this message and if the message was about uh money transferring right how do you actually do that transferring on the blockchain so programmable money how do you uh, from an input, from an ISO message, actually move those crypto assets natively on chain. Okay, so you mentioned Europe. Are you guys based out of Europe? Uh, I'm French actually, so my, my family live in Europe, so I, ha I have to go here pretty yeah. often, see the family, but the Corm Foundation is based in Dubai. We have uh, an office in Los Angeles, one in Vancouver, yeah. but we love Europe. There's a lot of potential here, so We've been involved in, in different conventions last year, Private Blockchain Week, mm -hmm. uh, uh, European Blockchain Convention in Barcelona, yeah. where you're from. So yeah, 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 yeah. So quite global. Pretty much, yeah, like like the blockchain. Like everyone. Decentralized. That's right, decentralized, <laughs> yeah. baby, that's it. Yeah, yeah nice. Much. So a lot of people may be interested to in attend an event like Permissionless. Yeah. What would you tell them? I'll tell them to come, honestly, to the event, not be shy, interact with everyone that is here. Uh, everyone is, is pretty uh, pretty kind, I'll say. Yeah. Everyone wants to, to uh, learn more, uh, be able to share. I know that sometimes the tickets you know, can be pretty expensive. Uh, one good way to, to, to get in is through their, uh, if you're a student, there, there is some yeah. 
promotion. I think right now for permissionless, it's like $90 if you're a student. If you're a hacker, so a developer, it's free. Um, so yeah, I will say do it. It's a good investment and uh, hopefully get you uh, a career in crypto. Wonderful, man. Yeah. So where can we find Corium? Uh, you can find Corium on chain, of course. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can find Corium at Corium.com to learn more about what we do. Uh, we do have a grant program. We are uh, looking always for talents. Uh, yeah. Teams are looking to uh, revolutionize the space. So yeah, find us online. We're on Twitter. We're everywhere. Uh, feel free to shoot me a message on my Twitter as well if you want to get in touch. Um, you're always welcome. Perfect. Hey, L1. Nice to meet you, bro. David, likewise. Yeah, take care. See you soon. Hey, what's up? But it's not something Gen Z is afraid of. If you want to survive, you got to build a house. I'm to you not understand. Three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, the back of the Gen Z Media House. Oscar, thanks so much for joining us today.